Hello everybody and welcome to our juggling workshop number one. I've got Wolfie here with me in the studio. Hello. And hello, we've got Rick Zazarski in Batesville, Arkansas. How are you, Rick? I'm doing good, Malcolm. Thanks. Greetings from Batesville. Greetings back to Batesville. And you've got your juggling balls at the ready? I've got them all. And Wolfie is going to teach us the rudiments of juggling. We're going to start off easy. Yeah, that's right. And you're going to hate me for this. The first thing I'm going to get you to do is to just lose two of your juggling balls. And we're going to start off very, very basic. So everybody has a weaker hand and a stronger hand, of course. So the weaker hand tends to throw a little bit lower. So it's really useful. We're just going to drill this. And we're going to really concentrate on throwing the same height every single time. And I would say the optimum height is around head height, maybe just above head height. I'm getting the hang of this. That's How about small. you, Rick? I can do this. Hey! <laughs> I'm good at this. It's a confidence builder as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, we had enough of that one. Okay, fantastic. So, two juggling balls. So, we're going to do exactly the same thing with both balls at the same time. So, we're okay. going to throw both of them at the same time crossing over, landing in the opposite hands. Hop. Yay! Yay. The hope? And good. try and notice, is one hand going forwards, is one hand going back? Do you feel like you're having to rotate a bit? So it's more about the throw than it is about the catch. So if you've thrown okay. it in the right place, you shouldn't really even have to think about catching it. How's it going, Rick? I think I got this one. No collisions, no mid-air collisions? No collisions. No, very good. Oh, another collision. <laughs> there were a couple of throws where your right hand had to go forwards a little bit. So what that told me is that your left hand was throwing away from you a little uh, bit. So these little well, kind of, not mistakes, but these, these slight kind of irregularities will just get amplified as you move on. So when you're actually juggling more juggling balls, that could be a thing to look out for, that your left hand is throwing forwards just a little bit. Now that seems to have ironed it out. So this is why it's good to kind of there get it go. right down that to basics. Little. Wolfie's top tips. Um, okay, so that's, that is looking good. So the next step, and um, I did see Rick doing this already, in fact, was starting with one ball and then coming in with the second ball. So you can say to yourself, throw, throw, catch, catch. So just throw, the same throw, as before. Catch, catch. Exactly right. Yeah. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, there's nothing, throw, there's no catch, real catch. trick. It's just trying to keep an eye on it. There's no kind of real way of controlling that other than trying to focus on that throw. So that's a really good rhythm as well. So I'm really hearing a throw, throw, catch, catch. One, two, three, four. Very regimented rhythm is perfect. Some people tend to throw them both kind of at the same time. So it ends up looking kind of like throw, throw, catch, catch, which is too fast. And that means that if you try and juggle three at that speed, you will really struggle. It's quite therapeutic actually, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> which is for me anyway. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to try and reverse that now. So this might be something that's a little bit more confusing, a little bit trickier. We're going to start with the left hand. Yeah, so whichever way you were doing it, not that. We're tough pupils, <laughs> aren't we, Rick? <laughs> Can't even remember which hand we threw with. I think you were right. starting with your right hand. Okay. So, so left and then throw, right. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. We're doing quite well. I've only just realised that you've not been dropping them all over the place. It's just that <laughs> last drop. It's yeah. time yet. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's going well. Okay, so I'm obviously gradually making it trickier and trickier. What I'm going to try and get you to do now is alternate which hand you start with. Okay. So starting with the right hand first, throw, throw, oh. catch, catch, and then reversing it. And then throw, throw, catch, catch the other way around. So this is essentially juggling three balls with a gap. So the pattern is the same as three ball juggling. So you could imagine that there is third ball in that space. I can't flip my fingers, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm not expecting you to flip, but just to sort of just to sort of represent where that third yeah, ball yeah. will go. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Yes. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw. Oh, one hand. From both starting with the right hand. Both starting, always with the right hand, yeah. Yeah. Part of it is not thinking too yeah. much. Yeah, well, I, I don't have too much of a problem there, <laughs> oh, not thinking. Good. That's Someone, helpful. My wife would say anyway. So <laughs> that concludes our first workshop on the rudiments of juggling. And thank you very much, Wolfie. And uh, You're very welcome. we'll see you in part two.